HMS Queen Elizabeth isn't just another ship. It represents the pinnacle of British naval engineering and a new chapter in the history of the Royal Navy. Imagine a ship capable of launching fighter jets from its deck while coordinating naval operations from two separate islands. HMS Queen Elizabeth does just that, showcasing a level of versatility and power unprecedented in British maritime history. Named after Queen Elizabeth I, and inspired by the legacy of a World War I dreadnought, this aircraft carrier is a symbol of power, resilience, and cutting-edge technology. But what makes HMS Queen Elizabeth so remarkable? Let's dive into the story of this modern marvel, from her design and construction to her role as a centerpiece of British naval might. The Conception of a New Flagship the journey of HMS Queen Elizabeth began back in 2007 when the UK Ministry of Defence decided to modernise its naval fleet by investing in two state-of-the-art aircraft carriers. On July 25, 2007, Defence Secretary Des Brown announced the order for HMS Queen Elizabeth and her sister ship, HMS Prince of Wales. The project's goal was clear – to ensure the Royal Navy could project power globally with advanced capabilities replacing the aging, invincible-class carriers that had served since the 1980s. These new carriers were designed to be the largest and most powerful ships ever built for the Royal Navy, capable of accommodating up to 60 aircraft. The budget for the two ships was originally estimated at $4.085 billion, but as time passed and the complexity of the project increased, the costs escalated. By 2013, the budget had risen to 6.2 billion towns, reflecting both the scale and the ambition of these enormous vessels. Building the Behemoth, Design and Construction Construction of HMS Queen Elizabeth began in 2009, but it wasn't a straightforward process due to the complexity of building such a large vessel in multiple shipyards across the UK, each responsible for different sections. Coordinating the transportation and assembly of these massive blocks required careful planning and precise execution. Unlike traditional shipbuilding, where a vessel is constructed in one place, HMS Queen Elizabeth was built in sections at six different shipyards across the United Kingdom. These blocks were then transported to Roseth Dockyard in Scotland, where they were assembled like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The nine blocks that made up HMS Queen Elizabeth traveled from shipyards in Glasgow, Portsmouth, Birkenhead, and beyond. One of the most dramatic moments during construction came in August 2011, when an 8,000-ton lower block made its journey from Glasgow around the northern coast of Scotland to Roseth. It was an extraordinary logistical feat that required detailed planning and precision, showcasing the collaborative effort behind this engineering marvel. By 2013, HMS Queen Elizabeth was beginning to take shape. Her two distinct islands, one for navigation and the other for flight control, were attached, giving the ship its iconic silhouette. The two-island design provides added redundancy. If one island becomes incapacitated, the other can take over its functions, ensuring seamless operations even in challenging conditions. A new era in naval aviation. HMS Queen Elizabeth was designed with versatility in mind, capable of launching short takeoff and vertical landing, STOL aircraft like the F-35B Lightning II. The F-35B, with its stealth capabilities and multi-role functionality, is the backbone of the carrier's air wing. The carrier can also accommodate Merlin helicopters, which provide both airborne early warning and anti-submarine capabilities, making HMS Queen Elizabeth a formidable force on the seas. In addition to its aircraft, HMS Queen Elizabeth has space to accommodate up to 250 Royal Marines, along with their equipment and vehicles. This flexibility allows the ship to be used for various missions, from power projection and combat operations to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are three times the size of the older Invincible class, yet require fewer crew members to operate. This is due to the Highly Mechanized Weapon Handling System, HMWHS, which automates many of the processes that used to require large crews. This efficiency means that HMS Queen Elizabeth can deploy more aircraft with fewer personnel, making her not only powerful, but also cost-effective in terms of manpower. The naming ceremony, a royal affair. 
On July 4, 2014, HMS Queen Elizabeth was officially named in a ceremony attended by Queen Elizabeth II herself. Instead of the traditional champagne bottle, the Queen christened the ship with a bottle of Bowmore whiskey, a nod to Scotland's role in the ship's construction. The ceremony was steeped in tradition, featuring dignitaries from around the world, including Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, as well as senior naval officers from France and the United States. The Royal Marines Band played a specially composed march called the HMS Queen Elizabeth March, adding a ceremonial touch to the occasion. As the ship was christened, a fly passed by the Red Arrows and a second fly passed by Royal Navy, Army and Air Force helicopters celebrated the start of the carrier's new life. Sea Trials, putting the ship to the test. Sea trials are a crucial phase for any new ship, and for HMS Queen Elizabeth, these began in June 2017. During these trials, the ship sailed out of Roseth and through the Firth of Forth, navigating under the iconic Forth Bridge. Accompanied by the Type 23 frigates, HMS Sutherland and HMS Iron Duke, Queen Elizabeth took to the open sea for the first time, conducting a series of handling and speed tests. The trials were not without challenges. Technical issues delayed the original schedule, pushing back her trials from March to June. However, these delays were part of the process of testing such a sophisticated vessel. During the trials, the ship's first aircraft landing was carried out by a Merlin helicopter from 8 and 20 Naval Air Squadron, a momentous occasion marking the beginning of HMS Queen Elizabeth's operational journey. By August 2017, HMS Queen Elizabeth had successfully completed her trials and made her way to her home port at HMNB Portsmouth. Thousands of spectators gathered along the coast to witness her arrival, a proud moment for both the Royal Navy and the British public. Operational Milestones Westland and Beyond In 2018, HMS Queen Elizabeth embarked on her first major deployment, dubbed Westland 18. This journey across the Atlantic to the United States marked the first time the ship operated fixed-wing aircraft, the F-35B Lightning II. The deployment was a key milestone in integrating the aircraft into the ship's operations, and it showcased the capability of HMS Queen Elizabeth to operate in concert with the UK's allies. The ship participated in joint exercises with the US Navy, including a notable rendezvous with the USS George H.W. Bush Carrier Strike Group during Exercise Saxon Warrior. These exercises were vital in demonstrating the interoperability between the Royal Navy and its NATO allies, and they underscored the role of HMS Queen Elizabeth in maintaining international maritime security. HMS Queen Elizabeth's first visit to New York City in October 2018 was another highlight of her early operational history. As the largest British warship to enter New York Harbor in decades, the visit attracted significant attention. During her stay, the ship hosted the Atlantic Future Forum, focusing on cybersecurity and international trade, positioning the carrier not only as a military asset, but also as a symbol of diplomatic engagement. The Carrier Strike Group, Power Projection. HMS Queen Elizabeth serves as the centerpiece of the UK's Carrier Strike Group, a formidable collection of warships, submarines, and support vessels designed to project power globally. For example, during Carrier Strike Group 21 in 2021, HMS Queen Elizabeth led a deployment through the Mediterranean, Indian Ocean, and South China Sea, conducting joint exercises with allies like the United States, Japan, and India, and even launching combat operations against ISIS targets as part of Operation Inherent Resolve. In 2021, the carrier embarked on her first full deployment as part of Carrier Strike Group 21. The mission took the group through the Mediterranean, the Indian Ocean, and into the disputed waters of the South China Sea, showcasing the Royal Navy's ability to operate in challenging environments and highlighting the UK's commitment to maintaining a rules-based international order. The deployment also marked the first combat operations for HMS Queen Elizabeth, with F-35Bs launching strikes against ISIS targets as part of Operation Inherent Resolve. This demonstrated the ship's ability to conduct sustained air operations, contributing to international security efforts alongside coalition partners. Throughout her deployment, HMS Queen Elizabeth conducted joint exercises with various allies, including the United States, Japan, and India, enhancing the interoperability of the Royal Navy with other leading naval forces. 
These exercises demonstrated the ship's versatility and her role in building partnerships that contribute to global maritime stability. Challenges and Triumphs No ship's journey is without its challenges, and HMS Queen Elizabeth has faced her share. In July 2021, an outbreak of COVID-19 affected the crew, but stringent measures, including vaccinations and onboard protocols, helped mitigate the impact. Later that year, the carrier experienced a setback when one of her F-35B aircraft crashed into the Mediterranean. Thankfully, the pilot ejected safely, and the incident highlighted the inherent risks of operating advanced aircraft at sea. Despite these challenges, HMS Queen Elizabeth has continued to demonstrate her capabilities. In September 2023, she embarked on Operation Firedrake, the deployment in northern European waters. The carrier was accompanied by Type 45 destroyer HMS Diamond, Type 23 frigate HMS Kent, and the support ship RFA Tide Force. During this deployment, the carrier embarked F-35Bs, Merlins, and Wildcats, showcasing her ability to adapt to different mission requirements. Looking to the future, HMS Queen Elizabeth is more than just a warship. She is a symbol of British naval ambition and a key asset in the Royal Navy's ability to project power globally. As she continues to serve, HMS Queen Elizabeth will remain at the heart of the UK's defense strategy, operating with the latest aircraft and technologies to ensure the Royal Navy stays at the forefront of naval warfare. From her inception to her operational deployments, HMS Queen Elizabeth embodies the spirit of innovation and resilience. As she sails the world's oceans, she carries with her the legacy of her namesake and the hopes of a nation committed to maintaining peace and stability through strength and partnership.